COVID positive at Kirribilli and hitting the airwaves in between phone calls to state and territory leaders. Prime Minister, good morning. How are you? Not 100%, obviously. I'm doing OK. Anthony Albanese is trying to secure a deal to curb skyrocketing power prices, but he's been forced to postpone a national cabinet meeting until Friday. What we're looking at is trying to act before Christmas, which is what we said we would do, so that there's no actual delay in anything except the, the formal meeting. The Albanese government will not stand by and watch... The impacts of uh, Russia's war just flow through to Australian industry and consumers. Families are hurting. Businesses are on their knees. Everybody is waiting for the government to stump up with its approach. The Commonwealth is set to temporarily cap gas prices at about $12 a gigajoule and it wants the states to put a cap on coal prices too. But New South Wales and Queensland are holding firm on their demand for federal compensation to make up for any loss of royalty revenue. If there's a case for some responsible contribution from the Commonwealth, then obviously that will be part of the conversation. That contribution in the form of compensation could be in the billions. But without a formal proposal and ahead of Friday's meeting, each state leader is playing to their own constituencies. For his part, the Prime Minister says he's confident a deal will be done and he expects power prices to start easing from February next year. Jane Norman, ABC News, Canberra.